Hi. This is a problem number four from section 17.4. So here we have a, a uniform bar of mass 15 kilograms. Meaning that as a uniform bar is important because then we know that the center of gravity will be in the middle. So it will be, if this is 0 0.6 meters and 0 0.3, that's 0 0.9, so it will be 0 0.45 meters. Then we can locate the center of mass. That's, that's where the weight is going to be located in our free body diagram. So at the instant when the, the cable is cut, so we have a cable that we cut right here. So if we cut the cable, you can imagine that this start moving. So it will be start rotating about point O. And at that exact instant, like you take a picture in that instant, it, we, they, want us, they want us to calculate the reactions in point O. So this is a problem that has forces and that has initial acceleration. The way that we do this kind of problems is the first step is a uh, coordinate system, right? We establish a coordinate system. I will use this one, inertia coordinate system. And then the second step, will we draw our free body diagram. So the free body diagram at the instant that I cut the, the cord will be. So at O, I have two reactions. So I have reactions O, Y, and O, X. Then I do not have anything in the cord because I already cut the cord and I have only the weight. And the weight is equals mass times gravity. I have 15 kilograms times 9.81. And as I said, no tension because we cut that cord and we allow motion. With the cord, if we have the cable, we have equilibrium. And then to be able to use our equations of motion, we have to draw our kinetic diagram. Put that a little bit farther up. Okay, so we have our kinetic diagram. So we will draw our same bar, point O, right here, right? And our center of gravity. And then since our system is rotating respect to point O, you know that we will have a curved path, so we have a tangential acceleration of point G, right? What is this tangential acceleration? If you recall, will be a angular acceleration of that bar times this distance. And this distance, as you can see, if this is 0 0.3, this distance right here is 0 0.15. And then we have also um, normal acceleration, right? But that normal acceleration is angular velocity squared times the same distance. But since we are talking about the instant that the motion start, the angular velocity is equal to zero. Therefore, this acceleration is equal to zero too. And actually, we have also angular we don't have angular velocity, but we do have angular acceleration. So that will be our kinetic uh, diagram. And since we want to relate that to forces, so let me, instead of writing here only the acceleration, so let me write the kinetic force. So that will be mass times acceleration, will be mass times acceleration. And here, when we have angular acceleration. We call that we have to multiply by the moment of inertia about that point, right? About, well, I'm taking moment about point O, so that will be point O. So the third step will be, so the first step was coordinate system, the second step was drawing my free body diagram and my kinetic diagram, and the third step will be equations of motion. In 2D, we have three equations of motion will be forces in X, which will be mass times acceleration in X, forces in Y. As you see, my, my X, I can say that this is the normal 
and this is the tangential, right? So if you want to, instead of using uh, forces in x and forces in y, you could use, for example, forces in the tangential direction and forces in the, in the normal direction. So this is my x will be my normal direction, and j will be my tangent direction, if you want to. But x and y is also correct, right? And then we take moment about point O, right? We already said that this is the inertia times the angular acceleration. It has, this equation has other terms that you recall, but those are zero because since this point is fixed, we don't have acceleration in that point, so the other terms are zero. So from here we get that we have our thermal forces equals to our inertia forces, right? Which are the accelerations. Ox is equals to the for, uh, accelerations in in x, and as we already said, this angular velocity is zero. Therefore, this reaction is zero. So we found the the first result. The second result will be forces in y, which will be O y minus weight is equals to mass times angular. Uh, acceleration times 0.5. We do not know the angular acceleration, right, yet, so that's an unknown. So we can have our, our equation will be OY minus. I wrote it right here, that is 15.9.81, and it's equals to the mass, which is 15, times 0 0.15 times alpha. So this is my, one of my equations that I would use. I have two unknowns, right? I have this unknown and this unknown, so I need a third equation, which will be that one right here. So if I take moment of our external forces, right, in this diagram, what do I have when I take moment? Actually, the only force that, uh, that make a moment is, is the weight, so that will be positive 0 0.15 times weight, which is 15 times 9.81, is equals to inertia in point O alpha. So how much is the inertia in point O? Remember, we have to use the theorem of parallel uh, axis. Inertia in point O will be the inertia in the center of mass plus mass times the distance between the point O and center of gravity, which will be squared. So the inertia in the center of gravity, you recall, that is one twelfth the mass times the length of the bar. Let me write it like that. Length of the whole bar. And this will be mass times this direction, which is 0, 15. So square. So at the end will be one twelfth plus m times mass times 0 0.9 square plus 15 times 0 0.15 squared. That gives me that the mass moment of inertia in point O will be equals to 1.35. Then, when I substitute that value over here, we get the second equation, right? Which this equation will be here. Second equation will be, I substitute that, will be 22.07 equals to 1.35 alpha. So that's my second equation. When solving the system of equations, solving system of equations, one and two, we get that OY is equals to negative 110 newtons and alpha is equals to 16.4 radians per second square. And we should put the uh, units here for the mass moment of inertia, which is kilogram meters squared. 
Okay, so this is the solution of this problem. So we were asked to find the reactions in O, and we had to find the reactions in O, which is OX and OY, and then we found also the, the initial acceleration of that bar when we cut the cords.